Okay, I'm, I'm Eddie Smotherman. I grew up here in Murfreesboro. Uh, I was born here in Murfreesboro, and um, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, having the Murfreesboro experience. Um, I was educated in Murfreesboro. I went to Mitchell Nelson, uh, Critchlow, Central Middle School, Oakland High School, and then on to MTSU. Uh, the um, Murfreesboro has been very good to me as far as um, I, I'm a sports fan, uh, and with our college here in town, uh, it's a great city to be in, uh, a sports fan in. Um, I'm, a lot of people think I'm a huge Bear Bryant fan, and I am, but uh, the reality of it is is I, I'm, I'm just a sports fan, and, and Bear Bryant was my hero, one of my heroes, uh, as well as Evil Knievel and my dad, I guess, were, were my three bigs. But uh, I, I've, I've enjoyed the, um, the ability to uh, experience all the wonderful flavors of Murfreesboro um, and Murfreesboro has a wide variety of people and, and the people are what makes Murfreesboro special. There are several people influenced me on running for city council uh, and, and we've had wonderful leaders in the past and I've always been interested in local politics. Uh, the, the thing for me is, uh, as, as I have grown and matured in Murfreesboro, I have always been active in the community. And I felt the need uh, for me on the council at this time, just as I did when I was 13 years old and I felt the need to coach t-ball. Um, the, the, there was a need, uh, and uh, for 38 years I worked with youth sports. And in that time, we, we certainly had a, um, a, a, a wonderful group of people that I've worked with uh, that have encouraged me, who have been positive and upbeat about teaching and helping. We've gone through so much change that, that somewhere in there, I think uh, we've, we've lost touch with what Murfreesboro used to be sometimes. And, and sometimes I think we have lost some of the wholesomeness of Murfreesboro. And that's something that, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm honored to be on the council now and, and I was truly humbled by the number of people who showed up and voted for me and supported me through the campaign. The most important thing I think I got from the voters was carry the message and continue to be yourself. And I think what they're trying to tell me is be honest, be humble, and be a councilman that has ears that will listen and a voice that will truly speak up for the voters um, once they get elected. The one thing, and I know there's resistance against this, but the one thing that continually rang true on the campaign was the fact of so many people saying, I've already voted. I'm confused as to when the election is. I'm confused as to uh, when, you know, when does early voting start? I've already voted once this month. Do I have to vote again this month? And, and, and I think changing the election date and, and moving the election date to a day that is more conducive to getting voters out, whether they be coming for a national election or whether they be coming for a state election. Uh, it's, it's disappointing when you work as hard as you do to see so few people vote. And, and, and I think voting is, is, is a privilege that we have that uh, certainly something that if, if that privilege were to be taken away from us, we would all immediately go vote. Uh, but at the same time, as long as we sometimes take it for granted a and the importance of what our local government does, I think is more important than what our national government does. Everything that goes on in our city from parks and rec to walking on your trailways to uh, actually having an emergency situation and having somebody respond, those are all local issues that come back to our city council and, and how well we have prepared and looked at the future. And if we continue to uh, focus on, on making Murfreesboro a better city and, and understanding that not only do we want to accomplish these things, but we also have to have the reality of there's a budget involved and we have to do things in a timely manner in which we can physically, financially afford them. And if we'll continue to uh, understand that and, and move forward, we're going to be fine.
the fun fact about <laughs> my son would probably tell you that I have no fun fact. Uh, the uh, he probably thinks I'm just the grumpy curmudgeon. But but the the truth of it is 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 we. Um, I, me and my son both enjoy working on motorcycles and, and that's kind of a hobby that I have. Uh, we do antique motorcycle restoration um, and, uh, and we're certainly incredible sports fans. Uh, you know, if, if there's a football game on Saturday, uh, we're going to be at MTSU watching that football game. And um, certainly from, from a business standpoint, uh, my, my job is a fun thing. I'm, I enjoy the, the, the service that we provide in a small family owned business. I enjoy the, uh, the customers that I get to talk to on a daily basis. And um, the reality of it is, is you know, that God's been good to me. And, and Murfreesboro is a wonderful place to live. And uh, I'm just thankful to be where I am at, at this time.